Hey guys, this is Slyman. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Celestron motor focuser. Uh, and this is specifically going to be for an 8 inch Celestron Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. This is a super, super neat product. It's actually a pretty fun install. Uh, so let's get right to it. Celestron does include everything that you need to install the motorized focuser. So that includes the hex wrench, the normal wrench, and the Phillips head screwdriver. So this is absolutely all that's required to install it. Um, optional, and I think it helps, is to get a small flathead screwdriver, some scissors, and some electric tape, and that helps in removing the stock rubber focuser cover. Uh, so this is really what's required, and this I just find helpful. The first thing that I like to do is to get a little bucket just to keep all your small little parts. Uh, so there's a few little set screws that come with this focuser, so I just like to put them in my bucket and anything small just so I don't lose it, uh, which is kind of always a good idea when you're working with small parts. Okay, well to get things started, you'll want to remove the stock rubber focuser cover. Uh, and if you can't do this with your fingers just by using force, you'll need to use like a, a multi-tool or a flathead screwdriver or pliers or something to get it off. And really, it just, I think it just depends on, you know, how old your scope is or how much you use the stock focuser uh, and, and how hard this is to get off. So mine's pretty tricky to get off. So what I like to do is use a small flathead screwdriver to kind of get inside the focuser a little bit and then pry the rubber piece out. Now, that would probably mar up this ring here, so in order to prevent that, uh, if you care, um, it's just easy to use a piece of electrical tape to cover that up to prevent it from scratching in case you need to, to use that plate later. And now I'm just gonna pry this off, so I'm just gonna get under that tape and start working on this. There we go. Let's see if it'll come off now. Nope. Got a little bit more. All right, so now I'm getting under there. Start helping out the flat head a little bit. And there we go. And by doing it that way, if you, you know, if you use pliers, you're probably going to uh, mess up this rubber a little bit. So by doing it this way, not only does it not mar your orange ring, but it also keeps your uh, focuser cover in good condition too. All right, so the next step is to remove the cover plate. And to do that, you're just going to remove the three screws that hold it in. And with this motor focuser, uh, Celestron actually includes a screwdriver, so you can just use this if you want. Uh, so I'm just going to remove this tape now that I'm done with it and take out these screws. And I'm going to hold the plate on so it doesn't fall or anything. We'll undo this last screw. Once you've removed the stock cover plate, uh, you can go ahead and you know put it into your bucket or whatever. But you're going to want to hang on to the three bolts because that's uh, what you're going to use to install the new cover plate, which is actually the next step. Celestron does include two cover plates with the motorized focuser. You've got the full moon size one, as I like to say, and the gibbous size one, or the one with a bite out of it. And which one you use really depends on which telescope you're using, of course. So the Celestron Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes that have a diameter of 11 inches or 14 inches, you'd want to use this circular full moon size one, or, you know, if you're using like a 11 inch RASA. So I'm actually using an 8-inch Schmidt cast grain, so I'm going to set that one aside. And this gibbous-sized one is the one that I would be using. And then lastly, with the cover plate, make sure that the side that has the indents is the side that's facing you. And then simply go ahead and get your three original cover plate bolts and put them back in.
Okay, so now that our new cover plate is installed, we actually need to make sure that once our motorized focuser is installed that we will have access to the motor coupler clamping bolt. And you can see that bolt here. Now to do that, we need to make sure that this arrow falls within the range on the rear of the motor coupler. So this arrow that's on the motor housing needs to point somewhere inside of this little white line here. And mine does not, so we're going to need to use the supplied wrench to make the adjustment. Alright, so I'm going to take the wrench now and, and make that adjustment. And when I do this, you may hear, you know, some paint scratching or other stuff going on. You might be a little nervous, but it's okay. It, it should rotate without a problem. So there we go. Now it's right in the middle, right where it needs to be. So you'll notice on the 6 inch through 9 and a quarter inch telescopes that the diameter of the opening on the motorized focuser is much larger than the actual focuser shaft. Uh, so there's actually no way for the focuser to, to you know grab that and turn it. So what we need to do is install the included adapter sleeve to basically make this opening more narrow so we can grab onto that focuser shaft. So that's what we need to do next. Alright, so the next step is to loosen this clamping bolt a few turns just so that we have some room to work with in here. Uh, so you're going to you know, use the, the hex wrench that Celestron includes with the motor focuser or your own hex wrench I guess for that matter to loosen this clamping bolt just a few turns. Alright, that's pretty loose, so that should do the trick. So securing the sleeve is really easy. Uh, you just drop it in and rotate it so that it lines up with the screw hole. So let me just take that out. There's the screw hole right there. Just drop it in, rotate it till it drops down in. Take the uh, little screw out of your bucket or whatever you're using and Secure that. So you can see that with the adapter sleeve, the opening to the motorized focuser is much more narrow. And ultimately that's what allows it to grasp the focuser shaft on the smaller size telescopes. So to finish installing it, you actually need to uh, put in this set screw into this uh, little tapped hole here. And this set screw came with some blue Loctite or thread lock on it. Uh, if you want to add more, you certainly could. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, but when you install this, you only want to go a few turns. And the reason for that is if you go all the way, you're going to basically tighten everything down so much so that you won't be able to to put this on the telescope. So you don't want to tighten it all the way down until it's on the scope. Okay, the next step is actually putting on the motorized focuser onto the telescope, so the fun part. Uh, so to do that, you're just going to want to make sure that you use these two securing bolts here and here. And really what's nice is the cover plate has so many holes, you can really determine what orientation works best for you. So, you know, if you want it straight up and down, that works, or you can kind of cant it off to the side, or you could do directly sideways, or whatever works best for you, you can do it that way. You just want to make sure the, the holes line up. So you can go here and here, or you could go here and here, uh, whatever way works best. So I'm just going to uh, insert the motorized focuser into the focuser shaft here on the telescope and tighten this guy, kind of take turns here, tighten one, tighten the other until we get it nice and snug. Now that the motorized focuser is secured to the telescope, you just need to go ahead and finish tightening that set screw uh, that you didn't finish tightening earlier.
The final step in installing the Celestron motorized focuser to your telescope is to re-tighten the clamping bolt that we loosened earlier. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Nice and tight. That way you don't get any slippage or anything like that. And if you do, obviously you can go back and retighten things if you need to. All right, well that is a successfully installed Celestron motorized focuser. The last step is to just test it out and make sure it works. All right, so we're just gonna test it out now on the mountain side. So I'm using the hand controller and I'm just gonna move the focuser position here. There we go. No image shift at all, which is just so nice. Oh, looks like it went past it a little there. So you can see, it works out. Pretty, pretty neat. All right, well that is how you install the awesome Celestron motor focuser on an eight inch Celestron Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and clear skies.